George Zimmerman is suing NBC for uh, allegedly uh, editing the tapes to make him seem like a racist villain. Okay, so he claims that when they aired the 911 call, uh, they made it seem like he had uh, mentioned the race of Trayvon Martin before he was asked, and that after the dispatcher told him not to follow him, he had said okay, but NBC had also cut that portion out as well. Now, on that part, he's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, it, they did edit the tape in a very misleading way and NBC has apologized for that. They fired two people over it and everybody knows that NBC edited that tape, etc. The part I'm not buying is hit when he says the damage uh, was done, an indelible image of Zimmerman stalking Martin because he looks black, fixed in the public consciousness. No. Look, who thinks that, oh no, uh, NBC's edited version of that tape, which ran a couple of times, is the only thing that people remember. I would say the fact that NBC edited that tape wrong, people remember that a lot more than they even remember what's in the tape. Yeah, and not only that, the NBC tapes came out weeks after the story broke, right? And right. I remember when we first discussed that story, prior to the tapes airing, um, we had already come to the conclusion that we thought that race played a role just because of the fact that it was a young boy, he was unarmed, he was walking back home with Skittles and iced tea, um, and that uh, you know you, you read his weight as opposed to Trayvon Martin's weight. And, and, and the most important thing is that Ed Zimmerman had done this over and over again. He had followed young black guys right. around saying they were trouble, etc. Right now, when you look at all of the evidence, you can. Get it, you know, reach different, reasonable people can reach different conclusions on whether Zimmerman uh, did this because of race or because of other things. He mm -hmm. thought that he was a hero, you know, like, oh, I'm, he was going to be a cop and he's pr patrolling the neighborhood and he was an idiot and got himself into trouble, etc. You can have reasonable opinions ab about that. But the fact that there was a racial component was not something NBC invented or it wasn't like after you saw the tape you're like oh my god now I think race is part of it mm -hmm. right now the, s the third part of this is he, uh, Zimmerman's through his attorney says I do not know because of my situation how I will be able to provide for my wife and myself in the future so I expect NBC to be held responsible no, but wait a minute NBC didn't shoot Trayvon Martin you're not in prison right now because of NBC you're in prison because you followed a kid who was unarmed you stalked him and you shot him now there's a lot of questions as to how that all went down, that's going to get resolved in court. But NBC didn't make you do that. Mm -hmm. NBC is a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the story. And if you can't provide for your, yourself and your wife going forward, it is 99.99999% your fault and not NBC's fault. What NBC did was wrong, everybody acknowledges that. And if at some point he gets some sort of settlement for that, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Okay, But it's not like NBC is responsible for his life and his decisions, no way. Um, and then also another piece of evidence that was released uh, recently was uh, a, a more vivid image of George Zimmerman after the attack. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so uh, this obviously goes to his point that his nose was broken. Not only is it bleeding, but it looks out of shape, etc. Now, when we had seen it in the past, it, for whatever reason, didn't look like this. It looked like he had a small cut on his nose, uh -huh. but we hadn't seen the blood. We assumed there was, I mean, at least I assumed there was some blood, but, it, 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 but I didn't know how much because we didn't know how much the nose was broken. For example, let me give you context on this that I haven't talked about before. I've had my nose broken uh, two different times. Now, once was a tiny little fracture. There was no blood, no nothing, and that's the kind of nose break that Zerman seemed to have. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't think that his doctor was making it up, but it's no big deal. My nose was nicked, everybody moved on with their lives, mm -hmm. right? And another time I got my ass kicked and my nose was on this side of the face, right? And in which case there was tremendous blood. So without this picture, it looked like to be the first kind of nose break instead of the second kind of nose break. Yeah. What I'm amazed by is why in the world did you not release that picture earlier? I know, it's very <laughs> strange that evidence that would actually support his argument is being released now as opposed to months ago when the story first broke. Um, but it still doesn't change the fact that George Zimmerman was the one who pursued an unarmed teenager. And, and this is what drives me crazy about this. Like anytime you see evidence like this, we'll get emails like, oh, when are you going to admit you were wrong about Zimmerman? Never, because that's, it is not at all pertinent. 
our entire argument the entire time has been Zimmerman should not have chased Trayvon down. He should not have shot him. He should have Nobody been arrested immediately. That was the one thing that we were adamant about in the very, very beginning. The fact that all he had to do was say, I stood my ground and police officials let him go. Go back and check every tape if you want to waste your life. See if I ever said that, uh, that Trayvon never fought back. Because I never said that. Uh, if somebody chased you down, from day one we said if somebody chased you down, and they got it. you know or you don't know that they have a gun, but they look like they're stalking you. And they start a confrontation. It's the most reasonable thing in the world that you would fight back. Mm -hmm. And it's not your fault for fighting back. So like every time people are like, aha, Trayvon lifted a hand, so he should have been executed. Is that, I guess that's the logic. As long as there was a fight, Zimmerman had the right to kill him. And he didn't have that right. He started the fight and he ended the fight with lethal force, which he had no business doing. Now, that doesn't mean that he's not gonna win in court. Reasonable people can look at that and go, well, even though he started the fight, at some point he might have really feared for his life. Mm -hmm. He might have thought that Trayvon was reaching for the gun. Really bad evidence on that, but you know, reasonable people can disagree. And my guess is at some point he'll get off.